All right, we're reviewing a 1986 300 European version, 300 SL. This is an October 1985 production car, so it will be an 86 model 300 car. You're going to see from the walk around, the drive, we're going to put it up on the lift, just how extraordinary this car is. Very nice condition, nice finish on the wheels, all the trim straight, paint is excellent. Couple of uh, touch up spots on it, I'll try to point those out. Uh, but other than that, very, very, very nice. Uh, touch up spots were mainly from taking the hard top on and off. Let me point that out. Here's a couple here that have been brush touched up. And then here's one here. Top's in good condition. Windows are okay. Chrome is good. Uh, there's one very odd spot on the back bumper here that's um, lacking on chrome. But uh, as you can see, you have to get up close to see it. Sides are very straight. I don't see any indication that the car has been in any sort of accident. Doors are straight. We'll put it up on the lift. Look at the doors from eye level. Again, soft tops in nice condition. Bumpers are straight. Good pure European lights. We just spent $3,300 or $3,500 on the car, mainly for fuel feed system. Been sitting a while. It came out of a large collection. It's been sitting a while, so it needed some freshening of the fuel system. All right, we'll uh, open the hood. Um, matter of fact, let's just keep this going. Very, very clean under the hood. It's got a clean interior, which we will show once I take the top off of it. All right, we were um, at the engine compartment before my phone rang. Uh, look how clean this engine compartment is. Everything's tidy and nice. Hoses are nice. No oil. No grime. Just a nice clean engine compartment. It's got the hood pad in good condition. Cross members all clean and pretty. Might as well go to the trunk while we're here. What a cute car with these little bumpers. That durable engine. <laughs> All right, we got the trunk, nice clean carpets. We've got a wind deflector. And that's just carpet pad rolled over. It's got some small uh, Gotta leave, got some small imperfections here. So if a guy wants perfection, he'll replace that. Back side of the trunk lid's in good condition. All right, we'll put the soft top. All right, here's the presentation with the soft top down. Really makes for a cute little car. Everything's in good order here. Everything's glued nicely, not falling apart. Here was a small chip that can be brush touched up. Headrests are in nice shape. Dash is in good shape. Leather's in nice shape. Wood's excellent. Sun visors are okay, a little baggy past your side, but uh, for the most part in good condition. Door cards are in good shape. Condition of these entries are nice. 
go around the other side and show you the interior from the passenger side. Again, everything's in good order, not falling apart, not unglued. Pleats are good on those seats. Look at that, almost like brand new. Get another shot of the wood. All right, we'll put it up on the lift and then we'll go for a drive. Pretty day for a drive. It's nearly 70 degrees here before Thanksgiving in Tennessee. Perfect day to go drive a red convertible. All right, we'll put it up on the list. All right, here we are at eye level on the 86 300 SL. You can see how crisp and clean all the lenses are. Front chin spoiler is all clean, not scarred up. Front grille is in good condition. Clean lenses. Nice finish on the wheels, all four wheels, fresh tires. How straight it is down the sides. You see how magnificent the paint is. How straight all the trim pieces are. No, oh, here's a little damage here. Walk around to the other side. See how nice the trim is, how straight, the tr straight it is, in order this all is, how straight the sheet metal is, look at the reflection in the metal. Good wheels, good tires, full, matching tires, clean lenses in the rear. And again, how straight this side is. Now we'll take it on up and take a look at the underside. All right, the underside is pretty straightforward. Uh, no rust on the body. Uh, good, clean, deep tread Michelin tires all the way around. Uh, we've got front suspension components that's been replaced. They're tight. These are a typical wear item. New, new, tight, replaced. Brake lines replaced, Bilstein shock absorbers. Here's one of the um, interesting uh, observations. There's no dripping oil, even at the oil plug. There's no oil in the rear main seal. Normally a place of, that leaks on these Mercedes. It's dry, everything's dry. Clean floorboards. The exhaust could probably use some attention. I'll point that out in a minute. Um, but it's a pretty easy fix and I may do it if you decide you want to buy the car. It's pretty straightforward, easy repair. This catalytic converter is weak right here. It's not leaking anything at this point, uh, but it is weak. Same with the muffler that still has the sticker on it. So it rusted from the inside out. We have a small spot here. But it's not through and it's not noisy and I don't think you'll be replacing that. I don't think either items need to be replaced at this time because ni neither one are leaking. Uh, but uh, somewhere in the future would need to be addressed. But you can see how straight the floorboards are. Again, no rust on the body. This is a rust prone area and it's clean. Clean. Drain plugs are good. And the other side, that's just exposed, it's not rust. Also clean. 
All right, we'll go for a drive. Pretty nice little car. All right, we're out on this beautiful 70 degree day, driving a beautiful red 300 SL that just had $3,300 worth of work and it drives beautiful. Front end is tight, engine's responsive, suspension's tight. Not dirty, not, not dastardly in the instrumentation. Original radio does not work. Thank you. 